Hey guys, it's Sunday morning in beautiful, sunny Mazatlan, Mexico. Sunday morning means I'm going for a walk and I'm going to take you with me if you want to come. So I had a mouse. God, he's getting so big he hardly fits on the chair. He really like having a lion in the house. <laughs> but he's very gentle. Okay, everything is locked up here. People have asked why I locked the door from the inside. It's because the front lock is broken. Jammed somehow. So, work with what you got. It's just such a magnificent day. I said, I gotta take you for a walk. It's a shame not to share it with you. Get up this morning, it was chilly for Mazatlacos. Did you know that's what they call people from Mazatlan? Mazatlacos? And uh, 22 degrees, which is 74 Fahrenheit. I know that doesn't sound cold to people who live in the north, but uh, when you're used to 100 almost every day all summer, 74 feels a little chilly, and I actually put a sweater on. I'm a wimp. But today is so nice, like not a breath of wind. I figure I'll walk down the Malaconga down, all this altar, see what's happening, and take you with me. Oh, and something I've been thinking about, just a second here. I've been thinking about the last couple of videos, meant to mention, forgot, was thank you to the people that have been giving me uh, little donations through the thanks button. This month especially, October, really appreciated because I was sick for three weeks, couldn't get out and make my videos, and YouTube sets a threshold that if you don't make X amount of dollars, you don't get paid that month. So every little donation helps. Uh, and it's maybe it's something YouTube could improve is uh, when somebody makes a donation, you can see that you had a transaction, there was a donation made, but it doesn't tell you who it came from or, or what video it was on. So unless I go in and search dozens and dozens of videos, I don't know where it came from. So I want to say thank you, thank you right now to whoever made donations, and I really appreciate it. Absolutely no obligation, of course, but if you think, hey, I get some value out of his videos, maybe I'll buy him a beer, or two or three. It's all good. So, onward. Get down at the park. Yeah, I'll cross over there and then we'll uh, film some more on the Malacom. People that have been up in the Riga tour in the hill. Buenos dias. Look at this, guys. This is two blocks from my house. How lucky am I to live in Mazatlan? Holy moly guacamole. Just beautiful. 26 degrees, no breeze. Just beautiful morning. In October. My house. It's right up there beside that, to the left of that high rise. Hola. 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 Oh my goodness. Sentada. Hola, baby. Hey. Oh, what you guys are go. If you're really a brave soul, you can rent one of these segways here. 
the guy's giving them a little intro to Mazatlan and some instruction on how to drive this thing. one sweet little Volkswagen. Man, that's nice. Interior's all done. Looks new, almost. I like it a lot. Hello guys, that was my tour of Mazatlan today. Not quite as exciting as getting lost going to the Walmart, but still fun. I'm sitting in the shade in front of the Club Boyuelos down here on beautiful Zeta Costa Square. Just a stunning Sunday afternoon. Not a cloud in the sky. Couldn't be nicer. For the end of October, you can't beat it. And, believe it or not, I went to the grocery store again. Three things I never thought to get. Cookies, galletas they're called in Spanish, dish soap, uh, I bought the platos, and freezer bags so I can freeze all the chicken and hamburger I bought. Anyway, so that's my plan this afternoon. Go <laughs> home, freeze some stuff, Drink a few beers, listen to Viva Fry and Robert Barnes on YouTube and Rumble, and have a great Sunday afternoon. I hope you're all having a good one. If you made it this far, don't forget, hit like, subscribe, and most importantly, share this. Put it on your social media so other people get to see it. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye for now.